One key difference between a Prezik Classic and Pro is how you build reports and when. This is a fundamental change in concept, and once you understand it, learning the rest of a Prezik Pro will be a snap. In a Prezik Classic, you use the contents menu to select a page to fill out from a large menu set. Then, when you're ready to print your report, or save it as Mismo XML, you build it by selecting the pages to include and setting their order. In Appraiser Pro, it's a bit different. Instead of building your final report at the end of the process when you're ready to print, you now construct the framework of your report at the beginning and as you progress through the report writing process. Let's start with a blank 1004 using the default template. A template in Appraiser Pro is kind of like a skeleton in Appraiser Classic. You can create a custom template to avoid having to make these changes to the default template every time. More on that later. By default, when you open the blank default template, a set of forms, addenda, and other pages will already be included. If you don't wish to include these, just uncheck this checkbox at the bottom. In the report panel, you can remove pages and addenda by selecting them and then clicking remove. Be sure to remove any pages or addenda that you don't plan to fill out. This will keep clutter down and make it easy to see at a glance what's contained in the report. To add more of an addendum or form that's already in the report, click on the green plus to the left. This will add additional versions as well as any associated photo pages by default. If you don't want photo pages to be auto added, or if you wish to change what size photo pages are automatically added, that can be changed in the templates section under settings in the backstage. To add new addenda or forms to the report, click the add button up top. You can then search for what you're looking for or choose it from the list. To add it to the report, drag and drop it into the report listing on the right where you wish it to be added. You can also use these add remove arrows. Forms and addenda can also be dragged around in the right panel to set the order of the report, or you can use these arrow buttons up top. When done, click save and close. You can also change the order of the pages and addenda in the report panel. Just drag and drop the pages into the order in which you want them. You can also select an addendum by single clicking it, then use these arrow keys to move it up and down in the list. This will also be the final print order, though you can make changes during the print process. A quick pro tip, it's best to make these order changes here rather than in the print or save window so you can more easily see what you sent at a glance. Once again, it keeps your report clean and tidy. Some pages, like the PDF and word processing addenda, can be renamed so you can more easily discern what exactly is in your report contents. To do this, select the addenda by single clicking it, then click rename up top. You can also filter what's displayed in the report panel to better sift through the contents of your report. Just use these buttons up top to view just the comp and adjustment addenda, just the comparable photo pages, just the subject pages, only maps and sketches, or just the documents. You can also set it to show everything or a combination of all of them. Finally, when you get everything set up, you might want to save it as a template so you don't have to start from scratch next time. Just go to the Home menu and select Save As, then Save As Template. So that's it. If you need help or have any questions, email us at tech at sfrep.com or give our tech support a call seven days a week at 800-644-4051. Thanks for watching and as always, thanks for being an SFREP customer.